Okay, this is how you install a, an internal speaker inside an Optiplex, Optiplex 3020, Dell Optiplex 3020 desktop computer. You will need a screwdriver, your speaker, and your computer. First of all, the screwdriver is just because in the back of this computer there are two screws right here. They need to be loosened like that and then opened up. All right. This is to open the top cover of the computer. And then it comes off straight up like this. Okay. Steps you need to do. You need to take the front part, which is this, it's just cosmetics. Take it out. And there's a bunch of pins and it just comes out like this. Did you see? You just take these guys and you pull them up slightly and then it comes out. Put that aside. Next thing, you need to take all of this stuff out. So, the first part is the uh, optical disk drive. You pull this tab upward, basically just upward, and then it slides back. So, once it slides back, you can pull it up like this. Make sense? Next step, all of this needs to come out. You see this blue tab over here? You push it this way so that this screw becomes loose. See that? And then this becomes loose. Take these two cables out. And out comes the disk drive. Put that aside. Next. The speaker has a special little tab in front to guide and this one to secure it. It goes inside right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little line here, that's where the guide goes, and this here is where the fastener goes. So you place it to the side like this, with the guiding just so, and you slide it in. I'm doing this without really looking. There you go. It goes right in. You can take it back out if you want to, to just to do it, but it fastens itself pretty well right there. Take this, follow the path of all of the other guys. There is a little spot right here for it. You can see. All right. This has one side that goes in this way. You can see that there's two little grooves there. The grooves go on the opening, if you can see that opening. So it goes like this into the grooves, just so. Now your speaker's connected, just needs to follow the others. Now we put everything back together. First, the disk drive. This hard drive goes in this way. These little grooves came out, so you have to put them back in. That's how it swivels. Push this all the way in. Actually, don't push it, push it all the way in. Put this in first, it's going to be easier. So, you can see that these only go in one way, you can't miss. So, put this one in, make sure it clicks. Take the second one, same thing, it only goes in one way. Could you see or were my hands in the way? No, okay. it's good. Okay, so they're fully in. And then push this back in through this little screw that's there and lock it okay next this part which is your disk drive your uh, CD-ROM drive optical drive okay just set it down like that and push it back into its screw and it locks next the head part there are one two three four little grooves. Make sure it fits into them. Push this over the top. Make sure the disc, you might have to press down a little bit to get it to click, click, click. That's it. The top cover, lay it down flat, just off center like this. 
and then push it in this way. Screw these back in. Really it doesn't need much more force than what you can do with your hands. From the factory they put them a little bit stronger but you don't have to. All right, and you're all set. All you need to do now, plug back the computer. As you notice, we had taken off all the cables, put it back in, connected up with all the cables, and you should be all set.